morning, it is Fangs, and welcome to an American Cooks British stuff here today. So I asked you guys on YouTube, um, if you ever guys want to check out the community section, that's where I'm asking a lot of these questions for, but you can always put what you want to see next for me to cook in the comments down below. Hit the thumbs up button so I know that you're enjoying this. Um, I asked on Twitter, and like tons of people had things to say. Um, obviously some people didn't see the previous videos because a lot said bangers and mash, but uh, we're going to be doing fish and chips today, and this one is scary because you have to fry the fish and neither me or Doobie have ever fried anything and you have to get it to a certain temperature. Yeah, we're gonna have to see how this goes. So we're gonna go get started. Um, I've got like a lot of ingredients. This is mostly for these. This is for the frying, I think. Um, I have a certain oil that I have to use for the french fries, which I somehow purchased one time. And so we have it here, I didn't mean to do it. Um, me and Doobie are trying to be pretty keto, so I'm not probably gonna eat a whole lot of this meal. Um, but I will try it at least and see how it is. We have our potato to make our chips. I actually just got one potato because we don't need very much to be made. Baking soda is part of the batter. Apparently Samuel Smith's nut brown ale, which I'll give a little taste, uh, is part of the batter as well. You put some of that in there. So I got that. And then we've got all purpose flour. And there was a certain kind of seasoning that I think was English. So I'm probably just gonna use one of our seasonings. Um, mm, what do you think would be a good one? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do maybe a little bit of the Creole. So um, we're gonna be making fish and chips. I cannot do mushy peas. I was wanting to do it. Oakley said I had to do it. He's gonna be very disappointed in me because, um, yeah, I can't make him. We don't have that type of pea in our grocery store, at least where I was. They do not sell the type of pea that you use for that, which is really annoying. This is making it really hard for me to make English dishes when they're not selling some of the stuff I need to use. Um, I think I'm gonna start with, let me t see what it tells me to start with in my recipe. Heat the salt, heat the sapphire oil in five quart Dutch oven over high heat. Do we have a Dutch oven? No. Till it reaches 320 degrees. Is that the what I'm cooking the stuff in? Mm -hmm. Can it just sit there at 320 degrees? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna use that one thing. It's not the, thing. the deep one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you will find that black instant thermometer. The sapphire oil in a five quart Dutch oven. I wonder how much sapphire oil I need to put in. It probably told me. I need one gallon. Does that look like a gallon milk jug? So obviously I don't have enough. So how much do you think I should put in this? Um, I purchased the safflower, so this is my safflower. This is apparently for the fries. Are they having me fry the fries? I'd rather bake the fries. I'm doing the fries a different way. I'm doing it my own way with the fries because that's not how I cook fries. For the batter, I don't think I needed that. I needed uh, baking powder, cornstarch, medium. We'll see if we can get that up to where it needs to heat up to. Um, using a V slicer with a wide blade, slice the potatoes with the skin on. Place in a large bowl with cold water. That's just my, my, so I know. Sometimes I get it lost. We need to clean off the potato because the farmers will not clean it off for us. So we have to clean it off ourselves. It's probably not the case, but I just wanted to say that. I need a huge knife. Cut them. And lucky for me, I've got a huge knife. Okay, I know you guys are gonna cringe when you see me cut, but it'll be okay, I promise you. This is how I make my fries. And they might not come out great, but they'll come out good enough. Just cut, you know, like here, and then I start like cutting like, boom, boom, boom. Cause they're like chips, you know, it's supposed to be fish and chips. So these are kind of like chips. They're chipped, you know? That's what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking of when I think of it. Okay, RIP my fingers possibly. Here we go, we got boom. We got boom. How do you know if it's not gonna go over 320? Do you just turn it down if it's going over 320? I'm very sad that I can't make the mushy peas. I really wanted to do that. And it's another failure. We didn't have bag bacon. We don't have whatever those peas are. They've got a fancy name for them. We had all these sweet peas. Mushy peas. Yeah, but they have a name for the, like the pea that you mush. You put like salt, even like a little bit of sugar, and then you mush it. You don't mush it. I don't know how it actually comes together. You but mush. You mush, I imagine. I'm actually not going to do this side of it because we're not going to eat a whole lot of the fries, so we're just going to get like enough of the plate. So this side can take a chill pill. Okay. So we got those, and now they need, they need to go into a bowl. Water, I guess? Maybe I can go to a smaller bowl than this. Another one. You need to go to a bowl with water. So we'll just place them in this bowl. And we'll put some water here. 
cold water. Is that hot water? Cold water. All right, the potatoes are in the bowl. You can see it here with the cold water. Set that kind of out here to the side. Bitch is not ready. I gotta get all my stuff together. It told me to do that while I could put my stuff together. Whisk together the flour. Hold on. Okay. I need two cups of flour. I could just put this down below for now. Dirt it. Get out of here. I don't need cats in the kitchen. Did you look up how to put out grease fires? No. So you're doing that. No, no. You're my co-pilot. You said you were going to research this. You're my co-pilot. Oh, I got a quick issue right there. Turn off the heat source. That burst. Baking soda or salt to smell it. I got a lot of baking soda. Baking soda. B -b 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 baking soda. I got baking soda. Class B fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. I don't know if we have that class. Okay, then we need um, a tablespoon of baking powder. I hate how they make you open these inward and then that part gets stuck right there. That's annoying as hell. Why do they do that? Like they really want to mess with me. So there's a cup. Um, which one of these is a tablespoon? Is that a table? That is a tablespoon. Baking powder. I got baking powder. Throw that in there. Job done with that. Put you off the side in case we have to put out the fire. Then we need. Is there a way to get your phone to stay on without going to the black screen? Yeah, you have to go in your settings and change the lock on that lock thing. It's annoying. One tablespoon of kosher salt. I totally forgot about a bunch of other ingredients, but you'll see them as they go here. We have a tablespoon of kosher salt. That will go in here. Um. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of this. Mm. Which is more my kind of seasoning. Creole. And then one bottle of beer. Do they think that the bottle, I wonder if they know the bottle's gonna be this big. Kosher salt, cayenne pepper. I mean, this is a big bottle of beer. I'm just saying. How's that gonna make it? I guess it makes sense. Oh no. All right, let's give this little beer a try. Oh, that's delicious. Do you wanna try this? Okay. Do you think when they say one bottle of beer, they know that it's 550 milliliters? Should I do half of this? I'm sure. Hold on. I'm not sure if I'm using the beer for the right thing or anything. <laughs> it said, whisk in the beer until the batter is completely smooth. I have a whisker. Somewhere. Where's our whisker? Do you know the way, kids? Um, Found it. This is a whisker, right? Yeah. Okay. So I gotta whisk in the beer until the batter is completely smooth. It's a lot of beer. You know what? I think I am gonna have to put this whole thing in. Jesus! This is why people get, do the people get drunk eating their fish and chips in England? It's pretty cool. It's actually coming together. I guess I need to put the camera on it better so you guys can see it. This is all in the way. This is like a bunch of beer and baking soda and flour and somehow it's gonna create a batter that's really good for fish and chips. I like that. Let's whisk, we gotta whisk a little bit better though. Whisk, 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 whisk. Okay. Now what does it say after this? Drain potatoes, removing the excess water. When oil reaches 320, submerge the potatoes in the oil. Working in small batches, fry two to three minutes until they're pale and floppy. Move oil from drain. 
Increase temperature of oil to 375 for the fish. Because I'm gonna put those fries in a different setting. Instead, they're gonna have some oil that goes on here. And I'm gonna whisk it around. Oh, I think I forgot the cornstarch. Let's put a tablespoon of cornstarch in there. Cornstarch tablespoon. Done. Okay, those are out of here. If you ever need cornstarch now, cute, we have it. Got it. Um, and we'll whisk that around. It is pretty smooth now. This is actually like the craziest thing I've ever seen. It is turned into a batter, and it was beer. It's beer batter. Beer batter. Pretty excited about this. Okay, I'm gonna move this to the side for a second. And to avoid risk of burning my house down, I'm going to empty this. And then place these on here. And they are going to bake. Cause they taste way better baked to be honest. I mean, I think, I don't know. They will still be fish and chips. Right there. I need to put some salt and pepper on these. Pippa. Pippa. <laughs> Hit it. Get it. Beautiful. So much pepper. So much pepper. Um, why do you look like you have no pepper on you? This is a lot of work. Like my arm is starting to hurt. Why does this not release pepper quickly? And then salt. This comes out way quicker. The salt comes out like it's nothing. And then a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some people can run their cars off vegetable oil, can't they? Mm-hmm. Wonder if that is cheaper or more expensive. Do they have to go to McDonald's and they plug put it in your tank. Will they though, or do they just say yeah, that they do that? Because it? they have to pay somebody to come and empty their shit. Oh. So they'll do that free all day. Free 99, huh? Yeah. So I'm gonna push these around and get them all oily, get them all lubed. And then they are about to go in the oven once it hits its temperature. That's what I like to do. I don't know if you guys can see that. You should be able to, yes. So you make your chips like this, get them all nice. So I need to check the level. So this needs to be at 250, I believe, for my, for my wonderful, splendid, wait, increase. No, no, yeah, two, 350, sorry, 350 in order for me to be able to cook, I'm gonna have to go to medium, I'm sure, in order for me to be able to cook my, my fish. And I'm gonna restart this. I'm just gonna quickly batter my fish up. I have a white cod, they told me to get white cod. I hate fish by the way, it's disgusting, but you know what, for you guys, for this, I'm gonna try a piece of it, just to see how I did. If this, see if I can make my own self like fish. This is sealed very well. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna smell bad, isn't it? What the, how much am I gonna cut this thing before it'll open? I'm just gonna drop the piece of fish. Oh, it has this weird texture. That's the weirdest texture ever. Why does it feel like that? Don't put the juices in there. I'm not. It's gonna be extra fishy. I'm not, I've got it in the batter. It's fine, it's chilling in the batter. I don't know if I'll be able to find the batter. I'm gonna have to sit it up here on top of the batter. Oh, my hands smell like fish. Oh, okay. You guys are gonna make my house smell like fish for like a week. I'm just saying. Let's get this going, see if it's the right temp. Two eighteen, two sixty nine, two ninety two, three oh seven, three sixteen, three twenty four, three twenty seven, three thirty, three thirty two, three thirty five. So we're getting up to that three fifty range.
like just at 344. 345. 344? Yeah, SB 350. Oh, wow. How are you going to put it in there? Um, what do you usually put it in with? You need to do something like this. Okay, and then pull it out. All right. The moment of truth, kids. And you pull it out with that, too. I probably need to plate them. Yeah. I'm not gonna mess those up in case something crazy happens. I just drop all the batter in or just a piece of it? Just a piece, you don't need that extra batter. Is this fine? Sure. Don't splash it. Sorry. I splashed it. Splash. Get that, get that out of the bag too. So do I flip it around at all? Because it's not fully getting it. Yeah. Okay. I need you to look at my phone and see how long it says to do it for. I need a co-pilot. I've been fried stuff since I fried chicken back in the day. When did you ever fry chicken? I don't know what you mean. A wing place. Not wing style, but a wing place. Yeah, with deep fryers. Okay, it says to have it in there for... Um... Cook until golden brown about two minutes. Okay. I feel like I need to flip it. Yeah, you'll need to flip it, but do not splash it like you did last time. Okay, I'm gonna go slowly with it this time. Perfect. Look, I'm frying! I want to fry some chicken for us! Oh my god! Ah. Didn't that thing come with a net? Like a. I a bet it does, piece? actually. I think it comes with a fryer. Like a frying piece. I don't know, oh, whatever. I probably could have netted it in there. Whoa! Ow, it popped me, it popped me! He said, back off! Should I flip it again? How long has it been? It's been like 30 seconds. I don't think it doesn't look like it got us done. Maybe because it didn't have as much, as much batter? Yeah, probably. It doesn't have to be perfect on each side. Oh, that's pretty, pretty good. that cool down though so there's a big yet there oh <sighs> do be stressed I look a tad bit suspect but I think that they'll do I should have probably fried them I'm not gonna lie I made the mistake but you know what chefs make mistakes sometimes so we still got our fish here which probably really cold by now because it took forever to do the fries I'm just gonna huh, put the okay you know what I'm gonna actually put the fries on with uh, something so I don't burn myself so I made this like rookie mistake and I didn't put the oil down before I put the fries on <laughs> so they end up looking like this. Yeah, but what else? Hashtag what else? I'm pretty sure that they're not full French fry, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. You know what? We have potential here. At least we have some chips-ish, some ish chips. And well, that one came out really, there's a couple that came out really nice and there's a couple that did not come out nice at all. Okay. So this one doesn't look aesthetically pleasing to the eye just because there's no mushy peas. But let me put it on here. It doesn't look aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but you can see, I mean, it's gonna be delicious, I have a feeling. So that's it right there, you can see it in that camera. And then you can see it here, and I'm gonna actually try it. Can you see if it's, will you zoom in for me a second? Can we zoom in? Yeah, just to get this picture. You need to tilt it more. Um, I'm gonna give it a try. I hate fish. It's gonna be disgusting. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, way to talk yourself up. You can do this. Okay, first we're just gonna go with a fry because I know that. They're not fully cooked, but they still taste pretty good without ketchup. And I love ketchup with the fries. Okay. I don't have tartar sauce. You know that? That would have been the biggest. 
How do you make fish and chips and forget the tartar sauce? I could have just got, ah. Uh. Okay. It's okay, we'll just try it without the tartar sauce. I'm gonna get a really crunchy part. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. This looks like mostly fry, so I'm gonna get a little bit of fish in here. A little terrified, a little terrified, it's gonna be bad. This is like a forfeit for doing so bad on the on the cooking. That batter is fabulous. I don't know what I think about the fish. Let me try like more fish. Can we tell you if it's good or not? Yeah, I don't feel like I can taste the fish. Hold on. Oh, there I taste it. It's not bad. It's not, it's not great. Get some batter in there. You're gonna wanna. This is how you taste it. You actually get a hunk of fish. Did I do all right? That's actually really good. <laughs> yes! Yes, Doobie does not lie for the sake of me, guys. He does not lie for the sake of me. So, the fish and chips is done. I forgot the tartar sauce and I forgot the mushy peas. I'm a failure. You did a fantastic job. Like, can you make that for me one day? Is that like, do you really that's like that? really good, yeah. Do you just want to have it? Um, yeah, just give it to me. That is going to be it for this video here today. This? Yes, this I hope you guys on my diet. enjoy it. Um, if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Try the, oh, he's going for the french fry too. That was a little bit of a fail. Were they good? That's good. <laughs> oh my god! But, I mean, it's mushy, but... Yeah, but it's, it's not It's not fully cooked. I feel like it could have been more crispy. That is going to be it for this video here today. Um, hit the thumbs up button. If you guys did enjoy and you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!